The Betty Trask Prize and Awards The Betty Trask Prize and Awards for a first novel by an author under 35. Established in 1983 with a bequest from the late Betty Trask, a reclusive author of over 30 romance novels. Past winners include Zadie Smith, Mary Sial, Irinosen Okoji and Alex Garland. Congratulations to all four recipients of this year's Betty Trask Prize and Awards. The first award goes to Stacey Hall for The Familiars. Judge Vazim Khan says, in the current climate, this fictionalised account of the Pentel Witch Trials in 17th century Lancashire strikes a strong chord. The book balances an intriguing plot centred around a pair of female protagonists with a fearless examination of the evils of patriarchy. The writing is evocative, and the story flows swiftly forward. Stacey grew up in Lancashire and now works as a journalist, writing for publications including Stylist, Psychologies, The Independent and Fabulous Magazine. Hi, I'm Stacey Halls, author of The Familiars. Thank you so much to the Betty Trask Award for choosing me as one of your winners. I can't quite believe that I've won an award. Um, this is definitely not something that I ever imagined happening when I was writing the book, so I'm absolutely overjoyed and I also wanted to thank my agent Juliet Mushins and my editor Sophie Orme who without whom the book would not be what it is today and I definitely couldn't have done it without them. So thank you also to the readers and everyone who's bought it, every bookseller who sold it. I am just absolutely chuffed to bits so thank you. Our next Betty Trask Award goes to Isabella Hamad for The Parisian a book which Ben Brooks describes as a lush, sprawling historical epic, rich in vivid detail and broken characters. He says the Parisian is a true achievement and the kind of debut novel that leaves you profoundly excited for the career to follow. Isabella was born in London. She won the 2018 Plimpton Prize for Fiction and her writing has appeared in Conjunctions and The Paris Review. I'm so delighted and honoured to be awarded the Betty Trask Award this year. It's really encouraging for my first book to be recognised like this, um, and I'm very grateful to the judges. Thank you. Thank you also to my agents, Georgia Garrett and Melanie Jackson, and thank you to my editors at Jonathan Cape and Grove Atlantic. At this uh, moment of uncertainty and stress, joys like this really mean so much, so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Our third award goes to Okechuku Nzelu for the novel The Private Joys of Nena Maloney. Judge Vaseen Khan describes it as a genuinely humorous and insightful novel about what it means to grow up with an identity that is difficult to reconcile with one's environment. The book blends pathos and comic timing, as well as well-drawn character studies whilst tackling difficult and topical issues such as racial identity, homophobia and domestic abuse. Okuchuku is a writer and teacher, he was born in Manchester in 1988, studied English at Cambridge and completed the Teach First programme. His work has been published in Agenda, PN Review, e-magazine and the anthology Safe on Black British Men Reclaiming Space. In 2015, he was the recipient of a new Writing North Award for the private joys of Nena Maloney. Thank you so much for this award. It's an incredible honour and a huge encouragement to me and I can't express how much it means to me. I'd like to thank a few people. So my brother Udobi, my auntie Chinella, my uncle David for their incredible support. I'd love to thank my publisher Charmaine, who is an incredible human being and doing such amazing work that we all need. My agent Carly Simpson, who's been fantastic. I'd like to thank New Writing North, who have championed this book and helped me find my publisher and agent. They've been invaluable support. And I'd like to thank the people who gave me their time and provided quotations and reviews for the cover, which helped get it out to the public. So Andrew McMillan, Candice Carty Williams, Bernadine Everisto, Derek Owusu, all of whom are doing amazing things in publishing of their own. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. And the winner for the 2020 Betty Charles Prize is Catherine Hind for Hitch. Judge Eleanor Diamond describes the novel as an extraordinary take on the picaresque. She says Catherine Hind is 100% a winner. At times I found the book so intense, I had to pause to catch my breath. Moving at a pace that's so relentless, the controlled, crafted storytelling provides an elegant masterclass in how to write a novel. Catherine was born in Canberra, Australia, 
She published essays and short stories in various Australian journals and collections and had a poem published on one of Canberra's action buses. She started writing Hitch while studying in the UK and in 2018 she was awarded the inaugural Penguin Literary Prize for the manuscript. Hi, I'm Catherine Hind, author of Hitch. Thanks to everyone who has helped me get the book to this stage and to everyone associated with the Betty Trask Award. I'm in great company this year and throughout the history of the prize and it's given me a real boost as I write my novel each day. So thanks very much. I've invited the cockatoos by way of ceremony um, since we can't have one this year and my dog Olive is also here to help me celebrate. Olive, come! Good girl. Sit. Olive, sit. Good girl. 